Good day everyone, you are welcome to this video. To my new and new subscribers, you are welcome to this channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can edit a crawling test or a moving test effect. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you different ways to edit a crawling or moving test effect using your cap cut. So without wasting much of our time, let's head over to cap cut. So here in CapCut, go back to new project and we're going to select our video. Now the first, the first one that I want to show you is uh, where the test will be moving with the background. Okay, so where by the test will be moving with the background. So this is what we're going to do. Now we have our video like this. So I've already copied my test. I'm, I'm going to go over to test, go back to add test. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to paste the test here. So the test has been paste. So let's go back to styles. And let's change the size. Okay. So you're going to bring it down. Bring it down. Let me see. So you're going to bring it down like this. So let's change this font. Let's change the font. Okay. Let's go with this font. So go over to style again can you see under this style we have background we have stroke we have glow we have background okay so we are going to use the background go over to can you see this second option here we are going to select it good so when you select it so you can decide to change the color let's change it to this color okay so going to have it like this so you can decide to change the corner radius okay you can decide to change the corner radius the height decide to change the height okay we're going to leave it like this so you can just decide to work on these settings here okay you can decide to reduce your opacity too okay the opacity i'm going to leave it like this good so split test automatically just select do not split so once you do that hold at the end of this test here can you see hold on it and what and drag it to the end of this video good so you are going to have it like this now the next thing we need to do is to make sure that the test is moving or is scrolling okay test is moving or is scrolling so we are going to come over here we are going to give it a keyframe can you see this keyframe select a keyframe so you are going to move it to the end of this video end of the test so you are going to drag it out so you are going to drag it out you are going to drag it out like this can you see what i'm doing so we are going to drag it out like this so we are going to have it like this Can you see? As you can see, the test is moving with the background. Good. So, this is how to edit the first one. Okay. So, now to edit the one whereby the background will not be moving, the background won't move with the test, just the test alone will be scrolling or moving. So, this is how to edit that one. So let's first of all let's just delete this one. Okay, let's delete it. Let me copy this test again. So let me copy it. So I'm going to delete it. You don't need it. Okay, delete. <coughs> so once you delete it, you come over to overlay. Go over to overlay. Add overlay. Go over to library. Now under this library, in case if you don't want to use library. Maybe you want to use any color. It is very easy. It is very simple to, to get different color, right? It is very simple. You can just go back to Google and download any background there. So we are going to be using white for the purpose of this training. Can you see I said that's white? So if you need a green color, you need a purple color, just go back to Google and search for purple background. So you are going to download it and you are going to bring it. Yeah, just as an overlay. 
so we're going to select this one so i want it to fit it to the screen so once you do that i'm going to hold at the edge of it and extend it to the entire video good so once i do that i'm going to select this background i'm going to go over to mask over to mask select mask and go over to what horizontal so once i select horizontal i'm going to go over to invert invert so automatically it's going to invert so i'm going to drag this line down i'm going to drag it down so i think i'm okay with this so i'm going to mark it yeah i'm going to mark it so once i mark it so i'm going to go back to test add test so i'm going to paste my test here paste so as you can see these tests have a background so the test actually come with that same settings that we did in the first video but to correct that it is very simple you are going to select styles go back to background and you see this uh, undo here you are going to tap on it good so we've undo it so we are going to go back to style again we're going to go back to style again so we are going to change the, this test color okay go back to test we're going to change the test color to this going to bring it here and you see please if you do not understand this video please make sure you go back to the beginning and watch the video and if this is your first time visiting this channel please do watch to subscribe to this channel make sure you watch this video from the beginning to the end so that you'll be able to get everything that i'm saying in this video and don't forget to share to your social media account and uh Make sure you click on the post notification bell so that whenever I drop an amazing tutorial like this, you'll be the first person to be notified. So once you place it here, so all you just need to do is what? You can decide to change the color. You can even change the font too. I make it a capital letter. Change it to capital letter, which is a uppercase. Yeah, so you can mark it. So do not split. So once you do that, you are going to extend the test to the entire video. Just the way we did in our first video. Our first um, the first option. Okay. So if I want to edit this one, we are still going to follow that same process. I'm going to tap on this. I'm going to tap on keyframe. So we're going to come over here. Here you can decide to you decide to drag the test out like this. And decide to drag it out like this. But let's let's let it start at the middle. And decide to make it, you can decide to leave it at the middle like this. And you drag come over to the end like this. You drag it out. Drag it out. You make sure it ends at the middle too. It depends on how you want it to be. So it is the work of the free frame that will now bring this animation okay so we're now going to have it like this can you see that it is only the test that is moving the background is not moving so this is how to edit this video step by step okay please make sure you subscribe to my channel share this video and don't forget to drop your comments all right please we need to grow on this channel let's try and make sure we share this video to as many group and if you are interested to join my video editing class yes i have a video editing class whereby i'll be mentoring you personally okay i'll be the one to mentor you tell you what to do if you have any question you i will always be there for you just message me on whatsapp on the number that you are going to see on your screen right now message on that number and uh, it is not free please but it is quite affordable okay i'm going to show you step by step on how to use your capcut to edit like a pro so do not forget to message me so once you are done with your video or just need this to come here increase the resolution to 4k and what and export your video is as straightforward as that is as straightforward as that thank you for your time i will see you in my next
ビデオ。